What's up guys, so welcome to the second hotel review of 2023 and today we'll be reviewing Holiday Inn Express at Clark Quay. It's a 3 star hotel and it's really really family oriented and why we chose to review this hotel is because everywhere we go there's Holiday Inn but I never knew what Holiday Inn has to offer. So in this hotel review, we're gonna check out what it has and whether it's worth staying. So if you're interested, do watch on. So without further ado, let's begin this hotel review! Can there be an eye transition? So talking a little bit about the check-in experience, overall I would say it's really really fast, it only took 5 minutes including the payment itself because we paid at the counter. It was a little bit weird because I think the front counter didn't really introduce much or talk about the hotel facilities or talk about the room Wi-Fi and all that and yeah, nothing to complain about, 5 minutes really really fast. So let's begin the room tour of Holiday Inn, Express, Clark Key, Queen Room, Top Floor, City View. Oh, that was a mouthful. So to start off with the room tour, as you enter the room over on the left hand side, there's an open concept wardrobe with the ironing board, six hangers with a laundry bag over here, and then a space for you to put your stuff. And over on the bottom, there's an ironing board. And right at the bottom of the open concept wardrobe, there's two more drawers. And one of the drawers contains the bedroom slippers. And the other one is just empty. And right beside the open concept wardrobe, it is the mini bar area. And the mini bar area has two bottles of water over here. There's a kettle, there's a couple of coffee and teas. A marble of top, very, very solid. Right below it is actually the safe. And right beside the mini bar is the luggage holder. And inside the mini bar area there is also a full height mirror from literally the ceiling to the floor which you can check yourself out and right beside the full height mirror it is the toilet overall the wash basin size isn't the biggest oh wait this one can open on oh hello that was cool and yes it's going back into the toilet itself there are two cups here two hand towels a uh, hand soap Two toothbrush, a hairdryer, and a couple of shelves which are empty. Like I mentioned, it's totally decked out with marble, so overall the finishing wise looks really really nice. Uh, right below there's actually timber as well. Two toilet rolls, empty shelf, a dustbin, and a bidet. Very very spacious. Toilet roll here, a bidet over here, just nice. And then moving on to the shower area, uh, you can see in for size comparison, it's not super duper big, but I mean it's just nice for you to shower. There's so, also soap here which is apparently attached And over on the top there's also a rain shower The hand shower over here uh, Two towels, I put my light over there because the toilet is a little bit dark And forget to mention the toilet also has this door over here Which you can cover up your shit smell, I mean my shit smell And moving on into the sleeping area I think Rose has been dying to do it Okay, la, 9 out of 10. <laughs> also, four pillows over there, and apparently it's soft because the bed <laughs> says soft. Oh, there's also firm pillows over here. Oh, okay, so they give two types of pillows, which is really, really interesting. I've never seen it in any other hotels before, but it's quite cool. And over on the bedside tables, there are two bedside tables. Both sides have switches, one side has a 3 pin plug, two bedside lamps, and one of the sides have the clock which is also a bluetooth speaker and over here like you have seen at the toilet part this is actually openable which is quite cool so maybe like you're eating something on a bed right then you want to wash hand then you just open this then you just wash hand you saw me just trip <laughs> there's a different dip, dip. <laughs> And opposite the sleeping bed, there is a relatively small size TV. It's Samsung though, so I assume that you can use screen mirroring. But the sad thing is that you can't pull it out. 
so you can't really plug in HDMI inside. And then moving on to the study area table, table wise it's really really small and like every other hotel it only provides one chair. And over on the table itself there's phone and there's a piece of laminated paper. So overall across the room I do not see any forms of paper products so very very environmentally friendly and on the paper itself you can see there are a couple of info from the breakfast timing. Peak period is 8.30 to 10.30 which is queuing required. Oh yeah and the piece de resistance of the entire room is the view. And yes the view itself it's really really nice. You have the picture view of the CBD area, a little bit of the river view and you can actually have a small glimpse of MBS itself. And talking about the flooring of the room, half of it is carpeted which is the sleeping area and the study area side and the entrance and the toilet is marble or tiles. So there's a little divide here as you can see and I like my carpet floor not too sure if it's clean though which leads us to our next test which is the cleanliness test oh, oh not clean I can feel it <laughs> don't have what I cannot see uh, but have a bit little but have <laughs> clean okay Quite clean. But yes, overall the room is really really clean and nothing to complain about. Carpet wise, I uh, can't really guarantee because I can't sniff it or lick it or touch it but uh, it looks clean. The furnishing and all is actually quite luxury and uh, it kind of gives me the feel like uh, Fullerton Bay which is the dark wood furnishing around and also dark marble in the toilet side. This basically wraps up the entire room tour so now we're going to talk a little bit about the surrounding locations and its amenities. So guys, so talking a bit about the room info, the name of this room is Queen Room Top Floor City View. Uh, the price wise, it's about 200 plus plus to 300 dollars. And you can find the rooms on trip.com to travel local to be slightly cheaper than compared to the online website. And for the room size, it's about 18 square meters. It's relatively small, but as you can see, from the room tour itself, they have utilized the space really, really well. And also another thing, this room does come with breakfast and it's a buffet breakfast, which we will be definitely checking out tomorrow morning. So now talking a little bit about the location of this hotel. The hotel name is Holiday Inn Express. Singapore Clarke Quay. So it is in Clarke Quay, obviously. But the closest MRT to this hotel is not necessarily Clarke Quay. It's actually three different hotels, but they are still relatively a distance away. To be exact, it's about eight to nine minutes walk. And these three MRTs are Fort Canning, Clarke Quay, and Chinatown. Looking at the maps itself, there's Central Mall, which is just right beside. There's also Baker Cook in the building itself. Apart from that, there's really nothing much apart from the ever famous Clarke Quay spot, which majority of you will have known because it's like the nightlife kind of spot in Singapore. So overall, the location of this hotel, I would say, isn't the best because the best way to get here is basically taxi. Unless you know to walk here from the MRT or take bus, which if you are dragging luggage, I assume you won't want to lah. And another fun fact that we found out about this hotel is that there's Holiday Inn and Holiday Inn Express. And the difference between these two is that the Holiday Inn Express offers limited services, while Holiday Inn offers your typical hotel services. And another thing that we found out is that Holiday Inn Express is catered towards more business travelers instead of families. Another fun fact that we found out about this hotel is actually all of the room is of the same type. It's just different view only. The size, the feature is about the same. Every room is like that. <laughs> <laughs> and another thing that I forgot to mention that the info provided on this piece of sheet also provides a QR code which has digital services. And we're going to do an in-room dining speed test. And over on the menu itself, there's local food delights, Singapore chicken rice, fried rice with grilled chicken, both at $18. Uh, there's a vegetarian rice noodles that is $16. There's also a Western food delights. Only two dishes, beef bolognese pasta and mac and cheese both at $18 as well. And what we're going to order to test the in-room dining speed is we're going to order fried rice with grilled chicken, $18. And we're gonna order butter chicken biryani at $18 as well. So a total of $36 plus french fries, $6. $42, very, very expensive. But to test the speed for you guys, we will do it. And we're gonna also order a can of Coke. Zero speaker. Yeah, can, uh, can I have one fried rice with grilled chicken? And can I have one butter chicken biryani? Okay. 
Uh, sorry, you are disconnecting. Uh, what is our stock? The fried rice. Okay, I'm just repeat everything. The first one is the chicken biryani. One thing about chicken rice, one fried and one cooked Yep, that's correct. And so we just ended the call with the front desk and after I called them, I read on the menu itself, it says uh, we have to go down and collect ourselves because it's an express and they offer limited services. But she mentioned uh, we will have to come down in 15 minutes. So I think it's quite fast. So now currently 7.30, we will head down at 7.45. Uh, and if we have to wait, we will start the timer then. I have finished my $18 chicken rice and my overall rating would be 8. <laughs> what? So the set of the chicken rice only include 4 pieces of chicken. The first look is a bit pathetic. However, the smell is good and the taste is also decent surprisingly. So overall the biryani is tastes as good as any basic biryani that comes out of that container. I wouldn't say it's the worst, but I wouldn't say it's the best either. I know it's a very bad representation, but I would say it's a 6 or 7 or point ten. So this basically wraps up day one. We're just going to take a chill, get a shower and watch a movie and sleep early. Good morning guys. Uh, it's the next day. I just finished gym. Now we're going to head for breakfast. It's currently 10 a.m. and apparently on the sheet yesterday that I've mentioned, they say it's a peak period now, but it's towards the end. So let's go and see do we actually have to queue? Hopefully not. So guys, so we are back from breakfast and. Uh, Rose is doing some work, so I'll just go through a little bit about the facilities. So this morning, gym-wise, it was really, really small. It accommodated about eight people, and then it was it felt really, really squeezy already. But overall, the equipment-wise looks really well maintained. Apart from the cable machines, they don't really have a variety of handles. Just only the single hand handle, la, And weights go up to twenty-five kg. Another thing I want to highlight is that the gym does not provide aircon, so it's really, really hot during the day especially in the afternoon but if in the morning or evening it's totally fine it's 24 hours gym as well and it does provide towels and water so that's pretty much it for the gym itself uh, i would say it's decent but not the best and talking about the pool oh yeah and the staff mentioned to us that this is the only holiday in express in singapore that has a pool so it's really cool and the pool looks really really nice it looks like a cut out piece of mbs hotel <laughs> it's just that the view for the pool wise it's not really nice but uh, when we walk across three to four times from yesterday to today it has been constantly crowded so it's always always filled with people and regardless of the time even though it's like 11 going 12 right now on to the breakfast i'm gonna talk about the breakfast so as len said earlier we came down about 10 a.m it's a little bit late however there's still a lot of uh, food and the variety of the food i would say is also not bad we have from the usual Western kind of breakfast, we also have a bit of the Chinese uh, or like traditional uh, pao and dim sum. So I would say for the quality of the food, it's actually quite decent. And also for the seating wise, um, there are outdoor and also indoor seat. And even though if like you choose to sit outside, it's also very cooling. So now we're coming to the near end of this hotel review and we're going to check whether we can do a late checkout. So we're gonna call them and see whether they allow us to have a late checkout. Today we won't really be staying until very late because we have something on to rush to. So let's go and try. Hi, can I just check if it's possible to do a late checkout today? Uh, for today for the room category, it's actually fully booked. Uh, can I just extend until one o'clock for you? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, okay, no problem. Right, thank you, bye-bye. Okay. So you heard from her first, we have a late checkout of until 1pm So apparently all the categories of this room is full But 1pm, uh, I think it's just normal late checkout timing for typical hotels lah. What's up guys, welcome to the end of this hotel review And what is your overall thinking about Holiday Inn Express Clarky? For me, even though this hotel is 8 years old The upkeep of this entire hotel is really really well done 
uh, buffet breakfast is really decent for a three-star hotel in comparison to a couple of past hotels that we have done. So if you all have watched our previous hotel review, which is Hotel Mono, the hotel itself is everything about the location. However, for this hotel, right, the hotel is everything but the location. So for me, for my rating, I would like to give it an 8. So yeah, this is the end of this hotel review for Holiday Inn Express at Clarkey. If you want to watch our other videos, do check it out. And remember to like, share and subscribe because we need to reach that 1,000 goals up by the end of the year. 600 now. Woo. <laughs> Bye.